welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Anjali and this is officially my second vlog. Um, yeah, so yesterday was actually pretty fun and so I thought I would go ahead and give it another try today. Um, the clips are kind of awkward um, and I realized I forgot to um, show what I was actually doing. Sometimes you would just see like a blank wall um, when I thought I was filming like the drawers or whatever the case was. It was just really funny and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Um, yeah, so I think where I left off yesterday was that I was unpacking um, my clothes. I still plan on <clears throat> doing that today. Um, I pretty much stopped um, at the same point that I showed in the video. And then I went ahead and made a vegan chili. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail on that later. But for now, um, I thought I would, um, I just, as you can see, I just freshly got out of the shower, my hair is wet. And the reason for that is that um, I got this from Influencer. So it's the Infinity Pro by Conair with the Knot Doctor. It says flex, Flexolite bristles for painless detangling, which I'm really excited by. Um, I've, I don't know why I noticed my hair is a lot more tangly. I don't know if it's the products that I'm using. And then, um, it looks like it should give the same kind of appear. Let me like step back a bit. Um, it looks like it should give you the same kind of effect that the Revlon hairbrush does. That's, um, super popular right now. I'm super excited. I actually really love Conair products. Um, they, back when I was a student, this is... Uh, definitely the brand that I would gravitate towards and I would save up whatever money I had uh, to purchase different items from there. So I'm really excited. I did look up the price. So this is $50. But again, it was gifted to me from Influencer. And I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a first impressions and try it out together. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm going to, um, before I write my review on Influencer or post on Instagram, um, I do want to give it um, a little bit more of a trial. Um, I, I feel like first impressions, while they're funny, they're not really a true representative of the brand. Um, let's go ahead and open it. Um, as I said earlier, it comes with um, the barrel head, what do you see right here? Um, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe this is a detangling comb. And then obviously we all know what this is. This is the um, blow dry brush that gives you that amazing hair. And yeah, let me take a quick look. Okay, so I quickly read the instructions and I didn't realize this before, but it's really cool. This is actually supposed to be a dryer. So they recommend like just drying your hair with this um, really quickly. Um, I'm not sure how much they don't specify. Um, it says your hair should be damp, but not too damp. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the recommendation of like the Dyson where they recommend starting with hair that's like 80% wet. Uh, for me, 80%, uh, my hair usually ends up drying by then. So I think I'm going to start with 50%, which is kind of where I'm at right now. And yeah, so it said to dry your hair first with this um, little bit just to remove some excess uh, moisture, then attach this. It's really simple. You just like plop it on and um, they have these things on the side right here that you can just click off. Pretty easy to use. Um, and you use this to detangle your hair. It says start from the top down to the bottom and then you can use this. Okay. So welcome to my bathroom. Um, it's pretty plain, haven't decorated anything yet, but I'm going to go ahead and dry my hair first with a dryer. It's really simple, just turn off. Pretty loud. So, so far <laughs> loving, really loving this uh, device. So now let's go to the big showstopper, which is um, this brush. That's supposed to be like the, um, that reminds me of the Revlon hair dryer um, blowout look. So, so I'm going to just split my hair in two. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so. 
so this is the final um, product. I actually really like it. My hair is really nice, really smooth. Um, yeah, it's a little frizzy here and there, but um, my hair is just growing out, so I don't blame it for that. Um, it looks way better than it normally does. Um, I mean, I think a great example is to even refer back to vlog number one. I, yeah, I'm really loving it. It's like just running my hair through it. I feel like I straightened my hair without actually straightening it. Obviously, there is no better learning curve. Um, I need to spend some more time playing around with the device and um, properly to probably understand how to use it. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I'm really, really loving the effects of this. Um, my hair is really nice, really smooth, and it does a great, um, sorry, I was just getting a text I was looking at, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just really nice, silky, smooth. My hair is super soft, and I love the look that's giving me. Clearly, I have a little bit of a learning curve um, to, to like properly learn how to use the device, so I will definitely do that before I make another video on it. But in terms of like, is it worth the money? Is it a great product? Yes, yes, and yes. Yes, I'd really recommend it. In particular, I love how compact it is. Um, and I think this is really great for travel. Um, like, I mean, I absolutely love my Dyson, but it, it's not something we'll be using for travel. There's just so many attachments and they're all really fragile. Um, whereas here, it's just like, you have your dryer, it does this job. You have your detangling comb. Um, honestly, you can just use a normal comb if you wanted to, and then you have the round brush. Um, I mainly want to learn how to use the cool shot. The cool shots are super nice on the Dyson, so I just want to learn how to get that in there. Um, yeah, I know my hair, you're like, oh, is it really good? It really is. Um, I just have a really difficult hair type to work with, so I would actually really recommend this. Um, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Um, back again. It's been a few hours later since um, I've been I did the hair tutorial, and I will say I'm still really, really loving the look. Obviously, I need to learn how to use the brush, but I don't know. My hair is so soft, so smooth. I really love it, and I um, took another look online. Um, I was wrong. It's not fifty dollars. It's actually a sixty dollar brush, and from what I can find, the exact model that I received from influencer. Um, it's only available at Ulta. Um, I'll leave a link down below um, if you wanted to take a look at it and maybe pick it up for yourselves. I would really recommend it. I know the Revlon one is super popular, um, but I don't know. I just find that Revlon products tend to get a little too hot, and I didn't get that same feeling from the Conair one. Obviously, it's hotter than the Dyson, but the Dyson is $600. Um, so... Um, yeah, there's obviously going to be a little bit of a difference between 600 versus 60. Um, and again, I mentioned it's really travel friendly and it really does give you that same look. Um, and it has the dryer, the detangler, and the round brush as well. Yeah, so loving it. Whenever we're allowed to travel again, I will definitely be packing it. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, um, I was just eating lunch and I had left the leftover vegan chili yesterday. Um, my coworker was right. It tastes really, really good the day after. And of course I added in a ton of like sour cream and cheese. And, um, I also ate it with La Brea bakery bread from Whole Foods. It's my absolute favorite French bread. It's so soft. So just, I don't know. It like melts in your mouth. If bread can melt in your mouth. Um, yeah, I really, really recommend actually just even getting the bread, even if you don't make the vegan chili. And then after I ate dinner, or sorry, lunch, um, I went ahead and I did some, um, just like errands around the house, like, you know, like paid some bills, <laughs> put in some orders for curbside pickup for different, um, home items that I need. Um, like for example, I can't even do like a haul, so, um, in my shower, I don't know who designs these showers, but basically you can only fit like um, like a little soap thing and then like a body wash. But I have my shampoo, my conditioner, my hair. Uh, what else do I have? You know, like you have your shaving cream, body wash, um, hair oil. I have like three different shampoos. Um, yeah, so the space that I currently have in my shower obviously is not enough. So then I picked up this tiered, um, place a curbside pickup for this tiered 
um, shower caddy thing to put inside the shower. Hopefully um, it works. Um, also, I think I forgot to tell you about the most exciting part. Um, I received an email that Sephora has started their sale on sale, or, sale on sale already. So if you're not familiar with it, pretty much at the day after Christmas, um, Sephora puts all of their holiday uh, gifts for 20, they put it on sale and then they'll do an additional 20% off. Usually on Christmas day, I think, uh, Rouge gets a head start and they'll get 20% off and I am Rouge. So that's the only reason I know about it. Uh, but I noticed this year that they started the sale today, a few days before Christmas, um, on their whatever holiday items they have remaining. And it was for everyone. It wasn't just restricted to Rouge this year. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I'm guessing so far it's not doing that well. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I thought it was great that it was open for everyone so they can all shop, get whatever they wanted to. This is usually the time that I stock up. I usually... Um, I'll pick up like the Sephora lip kit favorite set and I'll have that throughout the year. And then a couple of other Sephora favorite sets. Um, I thought they were already sold out, which is obviously great for Sephora. But otherwise, I don't feel like their holiday items were really that great. Um, the holiday sale and sale is great. I think obviously my favorite brand is Huda. If you've seen my Instagram, um, follow me on Instagram, which is Anjali's underscore beauty um if you don't please do <laughs> and i already have a link um in the description bar below too to make it easier um but yeah i really love huda's products they're really really great for um like my skin tone which is like the medium brown this um so her products work really great um the products that really come to my mind are the desert dusk palette um it's Usually $65 is down to $39 of so 20% off, which is a really, really great deal. It's a great palette. You can use it every day, bridal, um, for home. Usually when I get my makeup done, um, the makeup artist will use uh, the Desert Dusk palette. And then the, I saw that they have the Huda Flawless Filter, which is also really great. I don't personally own it, but I've whenever I get my makeup done for my like cousin's weddings, um, usually that's the foundation that they will use on my skin tone. Oh, that they'll use on my skin and it's very super full coverage um you can see i have like some acne marks here and like here um i don't care if you can see it on camera it doesn't bother me um but obviously if it's like an event or a party i do like these um covered up um so yeah i thought that was really great i saw that there's a wishful set i've been really wanting to try wishful um i'm gonna think about it uh, when I unpack my beauty items, you'll see why I'm a little hesitant, even though I do want to try it and it's been on my wish list for a while. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just pull the trigger and get it. But definitely take a look at uh, my Instagram down below for some of the highlights. So I think my plans for the rest of the day, to be honest, I'm a little tired. Um, someone was ringing the doorbell at midnight, which is really scary and no one wants to go check a doorbell at midnight. Um... Yeah, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was like wind or someone was actually there. I'm not sure. Um, it was very frightening. So I had a kind of a hard time sleeping at night just because of that. So I, will, I think we'll just keep it easy and just chill the rest of the day. Um, if I do end up like continuing to unpack or whatever, I'll show you either today. I don't know. I'll probably just show you tomorrow. Um, I did end up taking Monday and Tuesday off because it's the holidays. Why not? Um, I had, I finished all my major presentations actually on Friday before, um, like the holidays are set to begin. So for, um, yeah, they're just big presentations for senior management. So I finished both of them on Friday, uh, which was like perfect timing. <laughs> I've managed to finish my goals for the year, work goals for the year. So that was great. Um, yeah. So then I figured I might as well take Monday and Tuesday off. Yeah, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, everyone.